B2B sales techniques. Hello everyone, in this lecture we will be discussing B2B sales along and learning B2B sales techniques. Information is available everywhere due to the advent of the intent and escalating technological advancements. Now salespeople are no longer required to recommend goods and services to the customers. They carefully consider all available options based on essential factors since they know what they need. This implies that you now must demonstrate to potential customers why your products are the greatest on the market rather than just telling them. Instead of waiting for customers to come to you, you must bring your business to them. The most efficient approach to accomplish this and win their business is by implementing the appropriate sales strategies. B2B is an acronym for business to business. B2B sales refer to a business to business B2B transaction when a firm sells a good or service to another business rather than a consumer. Business to consumer or B2C sales are made to individuals directly. B2B sales can take a variety of shapes. For instance, heavy construction equipment to manufacturing could sell real heavy construction equipment. An accounting firm can assist other firms with bookkeeping and tax preparation. Or businesses could purchase software from a different provider. B2B sales have comparable traits regardless of the form they adopt. They often have smaller prospective customer bases than B2C, longer sales cycles and more stakeholders involved in the purchasing decision and larger and more expensive products. The B2B sales environment is always changing. Salespeople nowadays are faced with a different set of issues than they were in the past. We regularly receive marketing messages and sales pitches in the modern world. Companies will offer any and everything. Some might not prioritize us to get us to prioritize them. As a result, consumers need to be more trusting of advertising and prefer to conduct in-depth research independently before giving a brand their money. Reduce the overt, aggressive marketing and put more of your energy into assisting clients with their difficulties to combat this and enhance their perception of your business. Buyers are more likely to trust your company and look at anything you're selling when they realize that you're truly committed to giving them pertinent information that enhances their lives. Foodstuffs are the only items we buy at the shop or market without doing first some research and reading reviews on the product. The rest is screened and contrasted with alternative possibilities. For the majority of purchasers, especially B2B buyers, it is the same. They will research your goods or services online to learn as much as possible before buying anything. And if the testimonies and review don't paint a clear picture, they will choose one of your rivals with higher ratings. Make sure you're fostering social proof to raise people's faith in your company and boost sales. Create case studies, invite current clients to contribute their feedback and post them on your website. You cannot become an expert at generating B2B leads and turning them into sales in a single day. But if you consistently use power strategies like one listed below during your sales procedure, you will improve at converting your funnel into profit generating apparatus. Embrace sales enablement. Research is one of the crucial elements in a B2B buyer's journey. You want to be certain that your business is providing the data they require to decide wisely. Create a content database and stock it with lengthy articles, white papers, reports, case studies, ebooks, how to guides, demos, and other materials that can assist customers in finding solutions to their issue or providing answers to any queries they might have at any point in their purchasing process. Create content based on your findings by researching the trends in your business, pulling your current consumers and learning how and where your product adds value. Make sure your material is shared, promoted and SEO optimized on potential customers can quickly locate and gain from them. This will make customers more likely to think favorably of your board when the time comes for them to select a vendor or service provider. Encourage your sales staff. When making purchasing decisions, buyers believe that recommendations from friends or co-workers are the most reliable sources of information. This means that content created by team members rather than the organization itself is more likely to be well-received, trusted, and engaging. Positioning your salespeople as thought leader in your niche will help you capitalize on this reality. Assist them in setting up and optimizing their social media profiles and encourage them to provide pertinent content that will be useful to your target audience. 
let them give concrete recommendations to help prospects understand their predicament and provide examples of how your company has assisted others in resolving their pain points. This is how you may engage customers without apprehension. Thoroughly understand your prospective customer. Generating qualified leads is the key to increasing your consumer base. However, how do you filter such leads? To create a pitch or marketing message that would appeal to your prospects, you must conduct research to learn as much as possible about them. What difficulties are they currently facing? How do their typical purchasing procedure work? Who makes the decisions for the company? Where can you approach them the easiest? You'll be better able to understand your prospects thanks to these insights. Additionally, the more information you have about them, the more effectively you can tailor your marketing approach to fit their needs and position your product or service as the answer to their problem. Align sales and marketing teams to work towards the same goal. Your company is missing significant potential revenue because your marketing and sales teams are not coordinated. Bring the two teams together and have them collaborate to satisfy your clients' need at every stage of the buying process to obtain the best outcome. Get your marketing staff to consistently produce content assets and distribute them to the sales team. Let them instruct the salespeople on when and how to nurture leads using the assets. Frequent shutdowns between the two teams are necessary to coordinate their operations. Your email marketing and social media teams should work together to ensure that both are distributing pertinent assets in the appropriate order and focusing on the appropriate personas on each channel. Create your ideal buyer personas. Who are the target consumers or the customers for your goods and services? What sector do they work in? What kind of revenue do they produce? What location are they in? What are their concerns and areas of interest? How many employees do they have? Don't just go with your instinct while responding to these inquiries. Examine your existing clientele and make a list of the traits they share. Look through your social media accounts to discover more about the people who are following and interacting with your page. Research to gather precise data on your target market. Create detailed profiles on your customers using the knowledge gained from this and other channels. By fully developing buyer personas, you may stop your sales staff from squandering resources on unsuitable leads that will never result in anything. Be far-sighted. By making long-term investment in relationships, giving value to your buyers' lives, work and businesses and assisting them in reaching their objectives, your B2B sales process should emphasize building trust. Yes, it would be wonderful to close the deal quickly and it is okay to use strategies to reduce the sales cycle length, but you must be careful in how you approach it. Buyers are kept from being pushed or hurried into deciding before they are ready. Therefore, pushing your sales agenda too aggressively will only irritate the customer and make them reconsider doing business with you. Keep your focus on acquiring new customers. Deliver a fantastic customer experience from beginning to end. That will significantly impact the buyer's choice in the end. That is all for this lecture. Thank you so much for watching.